Okay, I'm going to go over a tool that every photographer who's using Photoshop needs to have in their arsenal. Just like being able to um, do a levels adjustment or a curves adjustment, this is, or uh, adjust brightness and contrast, this is a basic tool that you're going to want to have in your arsenal. So what I'm going to do is I've got an image here and I'm going to duplicate it first by dragging this layer down to the new layer icon. Duplicate the layer. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a filter on it. I'm going to do a filter, uh, sharpen, unsharp mask. And what this is, this unsharp mask is uh, evolves from a technique that was used in the dark room that helped improve sharpness in your image. And um, sharpness is in photography something that we refer to as local contrast, meaning contrast in the in the minute details which help us see, seemingly see more details instead of blurry edges we see sharper edges and to do it we're going to use filter sharpen unsharp mask and we're going to open up open this up and it gives you a dialog box and what we're going to do is we've got preview on this is important to see the preview and it's going to be a little bit hard to see in the in this video but what we can do is we can raise up the radius here, okay, and we can raise up the amount, and that's going to increase sharpness. And so, and to really see this effect, one thing that we can do is we can just take it up really high to see the effect, and hopefully it'll show through on this video. And of course, you don't need to go this high on your image, but right now, if I have this image here like this, and then I can turn the preview on and off, maybe you'll be able to see it. Let's see if you can see it. Okay, that's what it looked like before. It looks like you almost have blurry glasses before, and then you turn on your unsharp mask, and you can see all these details. And what, what you're actually seeing is lines. You're seeing the presence of uh, a border between light and dark, creating the appearance of a line in our eye. But you can see the grass seems blurry, and then if you do that, you can just see the difference. Maybe if we could uh, zoom on, we can see uh, here's the grass, and you see here's before, and hard to see before, but and then after, you can see it's just a lot sharper. You can't really see it in here, but let me, um, I'm going to uh, take it up even higher. If you go too high, it seems to be a bit extreme, but you can see there before, after, and it's just an it can add a lot of detail or uh, the, pr the effective detail into your image and I don't recommend doing it too extreme but that right there is quite nice and I'll do that and then we can see before after by turning that off absolutely beautiful now another thing you could do is if you want to control where the sharpness is going to be I'm going to duplicate this layer one more time Okay, there you go. I've got another duplicate now, duplicate number two. This is where I did my unsharp mask. Okay, and now here's my new duplicate right here. And this, for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sharpening tool. Okay, sharpening tool on this one. So on this layer now, I've got a duplicate. What you can also do is you can go over here to your tools, and you've got the um, blur tool, and then here is the sharpen tool. So you can actually do selective sharpening. So what I can do is, if I want to sharpen the grass here, right, I could say strength is set to 50% right now, but what I want to do is I want to get my brush a lot bigger. So I'm going to raise up the size of that brush, okay? And what I can do is, is I could just run it across the grass here and it's your computer will take some time to apply those adjustments because there's a lot of mathematical calculations that needs to, need to happen but you can selectively sharpen certain areas of your image if you want to make it, it appear to have more detail so I could sharpen let's say here this cow so we can see a little more of these details or if you don't like what's happening I, you, you don't mind the blurriness in the background but you want these trees to have a little more a little more detail appearing in them then you can actually just 
selectively brush and it'll sharpen just an area of your image. Now, why did I duplicate my background? Well, just in case I, I decide I don't like what I have, I can always just get rid of it, turn off the eyeball or delete the layer and it's not there anymore. So you can see here that sharpening is happening here and we can zoom in. We'll zoom in you can see the difference. So this area has been sharpened and this area hasn't. Once again I can get that sharpening tool and you can see what it's going to do as I brush it right here. I'm going to brush it right here and then you can see the difference in this area versus the neighboring area. And if you do it too much of course you start to get a pixelation and you basically destroy your photo but um, but a applied in small amounts it can really be quite nice so you can see right there seemingly a lot of details compared to how blurry it seems in the bushes next to it so see here seeming details and then here very very blurry right so just applied in um, in small amounts it can add a lot of nice detail to your image. I prefer in this case my instead of using the tool I prefer doing it across the whole image so to improve this image I would probably go with the first one the unsharp mask that I did across the whole image and you can see the difference adding a lot of detail to the image. 